What's up you guys, Derek Christians with Campus Waterfowl here again with another stop for our Collegiate Waterfowl Tour. Uh, this is stop number seven of our tour. If you guys don't know what Campus Waterfowl is, we uh, share and highlight college waterfowl hunters all across the country. And to take it one step further, we actually go to the colleges to hunt with students. And that's what our Collegiate Waterfowl Tour is all about. Um, and this year, this is our seventh stop. Like I said, uh, we are gonna be hunting with students from Montana State University. And we're not quite to Montana, but it's right behind me. <laughs> uh, I'm Warren Swenson. Um, friends call me Ren. Um, I'm a student at Montana State University and majoring in wildlife habitat and rangeland ecology. Um, been duck hunting for a few years now in Montana and uh, enjoying it quite a bit. One of my best friends here uh, in Montana, Tate Hamlet, we'll get to meet him later. Um, him and I have been hunting for a while and we've always been talking about coming to Eastern Montana uh, to do a lot of goose hunting out here. And um, kind of last minute plans kind of fell together. Uh, we ended up having, uh, we're gonna see some buddies from NDSU come out um, and hunt with us that were really excited. And last minute, um, talking to the Derek over at Campus Waterfowl and uh, got this hunt lined up and we're like, hey, why don't you just come out then? We're already going to be here. It's about four hours or less driving for you. So uh, I think it'll work out. Well, tomorrow, um, got permission on a uh, wheat field out here um, that actually had a burn this summer go through it. So we're looking at a lot of bare ground as well. Um, so we're going to be kind of setting in a little bit of taller wheat that didn't get uh, combined and then a little bit of uh, that burn too. So we're looking at a hard hide. Uh, but we know the geese and ducks want to be in this spot and um, just looking at the field out here um, You can see that there is just quite a bit of birds around the area um, So we're pretty excited uh, to get out here um, Pretty excited to put the put the layout blinds and the decoys down and uh, see what we can hit Tonight um, We're just gonna kind of be watching these birds figuring out where exactly they want to be because um, we're first hunt that's gonna set the tone for the next few days out here and um, we just want to be able to uh, have a great hunt right away. Um, then we're going to try to figure out what we can do for the next few days and uh, try to get on as many birds as possible. The other fields that I still, I need to call another landowner about another field for, when, or for Wednesday. That's what we did all last year in the corn. It was like, this is perfect. Yeah. yeah. So, and they're comfortable. I mean, mm -hmm. layouts are too, but. How yeah. far is it from state? Right? It's about a four hour for us. Three oh, that's not bad. Pack on the right. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Alright, okay. go! Hi, I'm Tate Hamblett. Uh, I'm originally from Vermont on the East Coast. Um, originally moved to Montana about 15 months ago in uh, 2019. Um, what brought me out here was just the variety of hunting and opportunity that the East Coast didn't have, so I wanted to put myself somewhere where I did ho have those op opportunities. Yeah, when I was 18, what initially brought me to Montana was guide school up in Kalispell, Montana, Northwest Montana. Uh, it's a great school. They offer a lot of different varieties, whether you want to do big game, upland, waterfowl, packing. I did waterfowl, and that's when I really fell in love with Montana was when I first came out here and saw its true beauty and shortly found my way back out here and guide school i'd recommend especially someone to, who's new to waterfowl or elk hunting or upland it's definitely a great class um, you meet some cool people from all over the u.s and uh, we had a few people from canada so that was cool um, but i definitely recommend it if you're new to it you can learn a lot ask questions get involved and you know just put yourself out there if you ever want to you know, go the next step in life. There's guys that do it every single day, and there's no reason you or your friends or anyone else can't. So don't be afraid to take a chance and a risk a little bit in life. If you really want something out of it, you can make it happen. Hi, I'm Landon from NDSU, and we're out here in Montana with Ren. Um, 
The first time I met Ren was at just at NDSU campus. We had been playing club hockey together and stuff. I had joined the team as a freshman and then we played a little bit together and then he decided to move out here and we kind of kept in contact and it was fun to be able to come out and you know try some new area and just explore. Our season's closed in North Dakota so it was fun to be able to get out here and get another hunt in. Coming into this I didn't know you guys had your own page. Uh, yeah. It sounds like you guys have your own little video crew and everything too which is awesome to see. Uh, you guys mind explaining a little bit about that? Yeah no um, I think for us it was just kind of about like documenting some of our like experiences. I mean I started it probably like three three or four years ago um, just with just like on a small scale like just wanting to get some stuff out there and you know show people what like what kind of hunts we were doing and stuff and now we're like trying to get into like doing video and stuff which obviously is another level of um yeah level of all of that mm -hmm. but yeah well i i didn't know about it i mean landon started it before i even knew him and then i met, met him freshman year of college and we kind of talked about it a little bit and i i was kind of like an art design student so i came up with the or we came up with the logo i put it together and then uh i mean i kind of transitioned into like the camera roll also, I like to shoot too, but trying to do camera roll and stuff, and it's just really fun. Uh, it's kind of nice to have a record of all your hunts and stuff. It's yeah. nice to look back and go, oh, I remember that and that. So it's definitely difficult to try to get the, all the stuff you need, but mm -hmm. I'm having a good time right now. Yeah, I know it's fun getting into it. Um, there, it's definitely hard to try and like hunt, call, like set up, and then video at the same time, obviously. So that's why. You know, obviously you need more hands on. Well, I, I tag along and kill the birds for them. There you go. Yeah, you're the sharpshooter of the yeah, group. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> exactly. There you go. Everybody oh. needs one of those. <laughs> yeah. No, we met Sam in the dorms too, and we've just been hunting a lot since. And Thanks. How can, uh, I didn't even get, we didn't even get the, the page. Oh, yeah. 701 Adventures on Instagram and YouTube. Okay. Yeah. And Facebook page coming soon. Sweet. Yeah. Sweet. How often are you guys putting up videos? trying to do once a week yeah but once a week sweet and, and then it's not just waterfowl either no we got fishing yeah um, upland. Hunting. yeah upland. 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 upland we're gonna do some more i we did like we didn't start videoing until like a couple like a month ago probably and like obviously the, the most of the season was before that uh -huh. but um we're gonna try and do like a recap like we did some big game hunting this year which would have been really cool to film but hopefully we can at least do like a recap and just share our experience on like public land hunting out in the western North Dakota for archery mule deer. It, would, it was just a great time and it would be fun to share how we did that. Well, we're back from Montana and I'm actually editing the video that you guys just got done watching. But uh, before the, the end here, I want to let you guys know that we partnered with Ducks Unlimited and Yeti to bring you an event called Ducks on Campus. Uh, we're going to be doing four different Instagram live streams on our Instagram page, uh, talking about collegiate waterfall hunters, duck season, uh, tips and tactics, photography, videography, and all that good stuff with some special guests like uh, Scott Anderson, we're going to have on, we're, we'll have Devlin Hodges from the Pittsburgh Steelers, and then also Sam Soholt. Um, but a lot of great information is going to be shared during those live streams. And to top it all off, we're actually going to be giving away a Yeti product each week, uh, like a Tundra, Tundra 35, there's a Camino 35, and we're actually going to do a grand prize for a Panga 75 duffel too. So, um, and there's a few more items in there, but uh, just wanted to let you know that, that you guys can sign up for that giveaway for each week's giveaway on our website. And I'll, actually, I'll just link that below for you guys to find and, and sign up. I also want to thank you all for watching this video and all of our collegiate waterfowl hunting videos. Uh, it's been a lot of fun traveling around, meeting students, and uh, getting a chance to talk to them and tell their stories and uh, then sharing them with all of you guys. So uh, if you guys enjoy these types of videos and we're tr I think we're going to be making some videos during the off season as well, but we'll see. Um, make sure you guys subscribe to this YouTube channel because uh, we're not going anywhere anytime soon.